Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a blessed and wonderful day. I took a recent trip to Israel. Well, I went to Israel to check up on MB Serial Filtration Systems and also to check on a system which is like the crow system for the military, but basically it's a machine gun mounted turret that you can put on your vehicle, your MRAP, or your, even your pickup truck and drive around and shoot pigs or just have some fun. But while I was over there, I had to take the opportunity for the second time in my life to visit the Holy Land and the place where Jesus Christ was born and where he was crucified and laid to rest. So in this video, I'm going to cover the 14 stages of the cross. That is every step from where he was crucified to the last step where he was laid. I hope you enjoyed this video. Part two, we're going to see the Wailing Wall. We're going to watch uh, bar mitzvahs of these Jewish kids. And then we're going to go over to Bethlehem where Jesus was born and you're going to be surprised it wasn't really a manger that he was born in he was born in a cave in the ground but it's fascinating and I love this history so I hope you'll take the journey with me and sit back and enjoy the 14 stages of the cross so today I start my tour of old Jerusalem and I'm going to do a private tour so I don't get held up by people so this is my guide right here what's your name Wally Wally okay so we're going to take the van and go over to Old Jerusalem. Lovely morning. So there's my tour guide, right there, you know. Wally. Okay. So morning, me, morning. Wally, morning. the driver, we got this beautiful Mercedes. <laughs> it's really nice. It's impressive. I didn't know vans could be so nice. So I guess to get to Jerusalem, we go to the new city. Yeah, the old city, there's, you know, the old city, eight gates around it. So I choose the closest one to the Via Dolorosa, to the way of the cross. Mm -hmm. So we will start our tour from the first station of the cross. Okay. Okay, so we finally arrived this to the city the walls of the old city. Of the city walls, which was built by the Turkish Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent in the middle of the 16th century, 1550, 15, you know, 1553, something like this. Yeah. All this is the city walls built by the Turks. And it, within the city walls, it's considered the old city of Jerusalem. While we are outside the city walls, it's the new part of the city, which means it was, you know, uh, uh, re-established later on. I mean, in the 1900s. All right, he dropped me off. And this is Herod's Gate. Apparently, there's eight gates into the old city of Jerusalem. And, uh... This is one of them, but this is what's outside. That's considered the new city. But this is the old city, and it's still an active town. It's never stopped being an active town. Lovely morning. Yeah. Again. So we are standing uh, in front of one of the old city city gates. You know, it's called Herod's Gate. The local people, they call it a Zahra Gate. Zahra could be, you know, Flowers Gate all named after you know uh, a muslim saint which belonged to the dynasty of muhammad and this wall was built in the 1500s in by the, the 1500s turks 1500 by the turks was so, there a wall there before there's yes used to be the you know the herod's wall all right let's enter it so they got a lot of fruit here i want to remember this in case i never get back here again but this is and these are streets that have been here for thousands of years. Okay, this is the Muslim quarter, all the six. See? That's the Muslim quarter? Yeah. Okay. There's four quarters. Yeah, and all this is, is the Christian quarter. Look at this. All okay. this is the Christian quarter. Okay. This is the Jewish quarter. All right. And this is the little one here, it's the Armenian quarter. Well, the Christian quarter is the... This one. Yeah, uh, that's the one I want to mainly see, yeah. yeah. Because I want to see the church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Holy Sepulchre. That's, That's where right. Jesus was wrapped yeah. in linens. That's right. Okay. And the Via Dolorosa. You can concentrate here. The Via Dolorosa. That's where we're going to walk today. It started from the Muslim quarter, ending. And by where the, are we at right now? Uh, we are by the uh, uh, by here, in this gate. Okay, so we're, we're going to go that way. We are going to go all that that way, this way, to the Holy Sepulchre, and then we will go out here, pick up the car, and we we'll go to Bethlehem. Okay, you got it. All righty, cool. Yeah. Hello, soldiers. How are you doing? I'm making a YouTube video. 
all what you see here, some it's from the 12th century AD, some from the 15th century AD, none from the time of Jesus. But the pavements underground is from the time of Jesus. I want to show you some of the ruins from the time of Christ. Be careful, this is separate. Amazing little vehicle there. <laughs> so these are special trucks just made for Jerusalem? No, these trucks they collect the trash. Yeah, they're skinny. Yeah. Because there is no other way for the big truck to come here and collect the chair. So this is, you know, the road leads all the way down to the east towards one of the eastern gates. It's called, you know, the uh, Lion's Gate. It's amazing. There's cars in here. So we are standing here in the place it's called the Via Dolorosa. But at the time of Jesus, it used to be here the huge uh, uh, fortress which is called Antonia which was built by Herod the Great in honor of Mark Antony. So at the time of Jesus, Pontius Pilate condemned Jesus condemned in this, this area. In this area, which used to be part of the Antonia Fortress. And this is now a Muslim school. Muslim school. On the right hand side, this is the courtyard and the you know, two churches belongs to the, uh, uh, to the Franciscan Catholic, you know, under the custody of the Franciscans in the Holy Land and the Church of the Condemnation. Hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, the way of the cross. Yeah. The way of the cross is a religious path following the sights of Jesus' passion begins at the Parthenium where Jesus was condemned and whipped, which is over there according to the tradition and the premises of the Antone Tower. Okay. As you can see the process here, this is here, that's where we are right now. Okay. But, you know, this is considered as the first station, where is, you know, the courtyard of the school courtyard. Yeah. The second station here is between the two churches. You see, this uh -huh. is two churches here. The flagellation, where, you know, uh, at the time of Jesus, they were uh, pledged by the Roman soldiers. So that building was there. Yeah, it was built by Antonio Barucci. So that's over 2,000 years old. No, the church is not. This is built in the 19, you know, 1950s. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. 1927, you know. And, but over the ruins mm -hmm. of the Byzantine church, and before that used to be part of the Roman, you know, uh, Antonia Fortress. So this is the two churches. This is one there, and the other one, this is modern, 1904, built over the ruins and the pavement road from the time of Christ, which is called the Lithostrotus. And here, you know, the first station, which is written in three languages, second up, all up to the... Okay, so Jesus is condemned, Jesus carries his cross, yes. Jesus falls for the first time, Jesus meets his mother, uh, Simon of Cyrene helps carry the cross, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus falls for the second time, Jesus meets the woman at Jerusalem, Jesus falls for the third time, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Jesus is buried. This is according to the imagination of the Franciscans, how, looks, how Jerusalem looks like at the time of Christ. Our brothers, when then? And now we are entering this part of the It's built over the ruins. This is built over the ruins. This part of the rock, which is, you know, originally from the time of our Lord Jesus. This is original. Yeah. This is what I want to touch. Yeah. I was hoping and Jesus, Jesus give me a sign today. Yes. And Jesus took the cross from here and he started to walk. This is where he started carrying the cross yes. from, right here. That's why Jesus carried the cross. And he went from all this way. Look at that. 
all the way. This is, you know, we call them the pavement stones. Yes. Of the Antonia Fortress. Is this the original? This is original. This is the original Some stones Jesus stepped on. Yes, that's where the most of the believe this is where Jesus stepped on. But after the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, it was rebuilt again. Hmm. I just want to touch the places where Jesus touched. It's wore out. So here I am, and this is the place right here where Jesus started to carry the cross. And then we're gonna walk the path that he actually carried the cross. There's a little dip in the stone right there. It's amazing to walk in his footsteps. So this is original markings. Yeah. So Jesus was kept in this area as a prisoner. Yeah. After his trial or before? No, no. After when he was condemned to death. After he was con condemned to death. So Jesus was kept here actually, and he took the cross from here. While he was kept here, so the Roman soldiers they will celebrate the King's Day on that time, mm -hmm. which is this is a Roman tradition holiday, and they were playing games here you know, offering for the prisoner, you know, the chance to see what he needs before he being killed. That's amazing. Yeah, so. There's not many tourist group, but apparently there's one from Japan. Here's my kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. Yeah. You know I love Jesus, don't you? Kitty. Kitty. Yeah. Alright, we're leaving here, so make it clear. Pontius Pilate had his offices over there, which is now a boys school. And Jesus was kept in pretty much a jail cell over here. And uh, once he was once he was found guilty okay so so he started to carry the cross from inside over there and i guess he what did he come out over here yeah. and that's you see that that's the black plate it's not the first person of the cross that thing yeah and which is today it's part of the so it's numbered the spots, yeah, with those brown plates. Gotcha. So here's the second spot of the cross. So the first one was Pontius Pilate. Yeah. And the second is, one was today, you know, Statio, which is pretty much was the jail. Yeah, that's where he carried the cross and he started. To okay, that's number two, and we're gonna follow the path that Jesus Christ took to his crucifixion. So this is today traditionally the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross. The way of the cross. The way of the cross. The passion way. Via Dolorosa. It's a beautiful day. Must it be it 65 it degrees right now, 62. That's nice. That's the original archway? Yeah. During Jesus' time? During Jesus' time. Now it's been built into, but this was... Yes, today it's, so uh, Jesus would have walked through this. Yeah, when, when Pinterest Pilots, you know, pointed to bring the man, behold the man. So that's, two, so that's over 2,000 years yeah. old. 
So this is the main one, the large one, and you know the Roman doors, uh, gateways. Yeah, yeah. There's another two ones either sides, you know, right, right and the left. So they have little doors. I'm surprised so they. One of the part, one, the, you know, the other part, it's with the Muslim area. Yeah. And the, the other part, you know, on the left hand side, it's within the church. Yes. Of the Echo Home. But they have the same area. Yeah. So, that's where the so the Greeks Orthodox believe that this is the prison of Christ and this location in here. But the Christians believe it was that spot down there, but it's all in the basic area. They say the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem, prison of Christ. Yes. So this property belongs to the Greek Orthodox, while where we were, that belongs to the Roman Catholic, the Franciscans. Now this building on the left, this is belongs to the Armenian Catholic. Armenians are the people of Armenia. And here we can hear the Via Dolorosa. Wrong. You can film. Okay. Because of COVID-19, you see most of the churches, most of them, it's closed. That's sad. It is. More Israeli soldiers. Here's the third section of the cross. Where Jesus fell for the first time under the cross. He fell right here. Yeah. See here? This is part of the Armenian Catholic Cross. And this is the fourth station of the cross where Mary, Mother of Christ, she met her son Jesus in his way to the Calvary, to the Golgotha. To the Calvary. See? So his mother met her right here. Right here. And that's the point where Jesus fell over the cross. Right here? Yeah. It's amazing. Such history. There's no specific place. You know, and this is the fort. So he dropped the cross here, then his mother met him here. That's right. And so the Armenians made a church here. That's right. So underneath the church, there is a Byzantine, you know, pavement mosaic, you know, which shows the, the, the meeting place between Jesus and his mother. Yeah. But today, unfortunately, it's still closed yeah. because of COVID-19. Want to be in my video? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're in the Arab part. Yeah, this is the Muslim quarter here, and this is the, the mosque. See, people get to the Most of these ladies, they're going to the mosque. So here's the fifth spot. That's right. This is the fifth station of the cross, which is the, you know, the Franciscan or Catholic chapel here. As written there, you see Simon, Serena, he helped Jesus to carry the cross from here. While he was helping Jesus because, you know, the cross was so heavy. So Jesus... It's amazing. So Jesus was in this position, yes. facing Golgotha. Remember, that's at the time of Jesus, nothing were here. Okay. So you just go uphill. This is the western us, hill. It was us going out into a All field. This, and he was laying his hand, putting his hand in this rock. Jesus put his hand right here. That's right. Facing the, you know, the Golgotha. Yeah. And then, you know, Simon just I want to helped touch us to carry the cross. So many people have touched it now that it's actually worn down. Yeah. You can see that. So the actual face of the rock is worn off, but Jesus put his hand right there. That's amazing. It's yeah, beautiful. Now we are descending up, all the way up to Golgotha. That's why we have two hills. And there was no stores back then. Right now it's an alleyway. What would normally be here? Would it be stores open or? Yeah. Because right now it just looks like a dirty alley. No, now I think the... Uh, the city. Oh, they tore up the brick. Yeah. Maybe. Now, yeah. They now they uh, renovate the infrastructure of the city. Mm. This is, you know, the municipality of Jerusalem. Now they carry on a project to uh, renew most of the roads and repave most of the roads in the city. At the time of Jesus, it used to be dirt like this. Yeah. Wasn't stones like this. Yeah, it was yeah. just dirt. And we're heading up to the area where he was we put on the all cross. All the way up to the yeah. Golgotha. 
Okay. In this spot, in this place here where, you know, Veronica, there is a lady, her name is Veronica. She swept the face of Jesus when he was, you know, uh, passing by this one. She wiped off his face right here. And this is, you know, the sixth station of the cross. The sixth station? Oh, there it is right there. Sixth station of the cross. Okay, I see the woman. She's wiping off his face. That's right. She's wiping the face of Christ. That's nice of her. And this, what's this? Camero Coca Cola Kia. Well, this is, a, you know, a column or a pillar. Yeah. Bearing the name of Veronica, carved in the column here. Veronica. Veronica, so that's yeah. a good name. Yeah. It has meaning now. I never thought about all the Veronicas I've met that their name meant something. So we are by the sixth station of the cross where she was the face of Christ. And all this convent is belong to the, you see, the Greek Malachite Catholic. Okay. Catholic Malachite, Catholic Church. Then over at the Tradition House of Veronica. Amazing. It's going to the Basriac, the Greek Malachite. And we're going almost straight up. I don't know if the camera catches, but it's like straight up. Yeah. So now they're they're putting in new new limestone now. Yes. This is the seventh station of the cross where Jesus fall on the cross for the second time. And according to the model which we saw it earlier, this is here the gate with Jesus went outside this gate in front of the judgment gate. So this road or this market leads to Damascus Gate. So during the Byzantine, in the fifth century, it used to be the famous road. It's called Cardo Maximus, built by the, by the Byzantine Cardo Maximus, which connected Jerusalem. I mean, North Jerusalem from Damascus Gate today all the way to Mount Zion. And now we're gonna turn and go up here, the skinny path to yeah. about seven feet wide. Okay, yeah, right. yeah. As we turn right here, yeah. this is the Christian quarter. The Christian quarter, okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the best hummus. Most of the people that come here take away. The hummus. Hum hummus. Yeah, hummus and falafel. I'm kind of hungry. That orange was good. I ate. Yeah. Okay, I see another place where Jesus That's right. stopped. The eighth station of the cross. Where Jesus comes from the woman of Jerusalem. But at the time, this was just a hill. Yeah. This was just going up a hill to go out in the field to be crucified. Here the, place. the eighth Jesus. spot. And who are these ladies? This is the women of Jerusalem. Jesus consult the women of Jerusalem and say, Don't cry for me. Cry for yourself and for your children in the future. So this is the point here, the eighth station of the cross. Do they have, like during Christmas, an actor will carry a cross up this path? Absolutely. It's not a Christmas, but the daily process. There are so many groups. Daily? Yes. During the first business, they used to carry the cross from the first station all the way up to the... What was the actual distance? About 500 meters or...? Uh, more or less, you know, some they say 600 meters, but we go in zigzag, lift the right... What's this rock right here? This is the rock here, you see, Nika. Nika mean Nikos. Mean victory, Jesus victory. Mm. See, this is the cross. Okay. So the eighth station right there. Who would ever think at the eighth station of Jesus Christ past to crucifixion, there's an Apple store, huh? Or electronic store. <laughs> Oh, 
That's amazing. We came back down the path here. We're the eighth sign and we're going to make a right. And there's more shops. Watches, toys, stuff, candies, jewelry. And it's, uh, it's about 300 shekel uh, to a hundred dollars or three shekel to a dollar. So that's $30. This is a Yeah, shekels. Yeah, so that's 30 bucks for that. These stores are about eight feet wide. A lot of them are closed up because they went out of business because of the COVID. They went broke. This clothing store. Meat. So most of these stores are about seven, eight feet wide. Yeah. Huh. Good. Grocery market. Dress shop. Shoe store. They all like, I'm serious, eight feet wide. This one's about 10 feet wide. He's got a big one. Some of them got wide, some of them are little ones. That's just a little pocket in the wall. Now, what part is this? This is still the Damascus part. We're going this way. Now, is this the Arab part? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Now we are at the Christian quarter. The Christian, but we're starting right here. Yeah. But before that, we were at the Muslim quarter, and the Muslim quarter, it's mixed. You see, there is a Jewish living here, and that's the Jewish quarter as well. Uh -huh. Look at that, there is the white dawn. This is one of the famous synagogues. Yeah. And within the Jewish quarter, is called the Purba. Now, this property or this church is belong to the Russian Orthodox. This it's is the us. Russian church. Everyone has a church here. Yeah. So now we're in the Christian part. Yeah, and on our right hand side, this is the property. It belongs to the Coptics. It's marked by their own cross and written there Copt, Coptic. And who are they? They are Coptic, they are the original Egyptian. Oh, wow. And what's being Copt? Copt means Egypt in the, in the Coptic language. Wow. This is a pillar, as you can see, a column. Yes. From the, I think from the Byzantine period, which marked the ninth station of the cross. Wow. Now we are leaving the property of the Coptic Orthodox. Yeah. And we are getting into the property belongs to the Ethiopian Orthodox compound here. Look at this. This is Ethiopian, where the Ethiopian monks and nuns they live in this area. You got some construction going on. See these little doors, the green doors. This is the, you know, living rooms of the Ethiopian monks. These are the doors, these little things? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, that's where the monks, they live. Uh, they are inside. Okay. If, if the locker outside, that's yeah. mean that's he's locked. outside, it's locked. But if it's open like this, that's means somebody in. Oh, really? Wow. There's no one for, to lock him in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And this is, you see, this is the dome of the church because St. Helen of the Holy Cross of Jesus. It's down there. It's down there. You could see it through the window. Yeah. And we are the roof, St. Gabriel and the other St. Miguel. So we're gonna, right by this, we're gonna go through this little opening. What's your head? Watch my head, I'm telling you. I would hit it otherwise. Dark in here. Okay. You see the picture? Yeah. You could see King Solomon and Queen Sheba. And written from the first king, chapter 10, verse 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, 
she came to probe him with the hard questions. You see that? Mm -hmm. From the first king, chapter 10, verse 1. So you could see that the queen of Sheba, she married to King Solomon. And most of these Ethiopians, they believe that they are, you know, the descendant of King Solomon. Mm -hmm. It's amazing tunnels. You know, the Ethiopians they have no rights inside the Holy Sepulchre because they are a minority. Uh -huh. This guy's popular, I guess. He knows everybody. Okay, now where are we? You see the tradition when the Ethiopians they go inside the chapel for prayer because it's holy for them they take their shoes off oh, is and this, leave it outside. This is I've the been holy here sepulchre. before. The holy sepulchre. This, this is, is the this sepulchre. is the place where they laid Jesus Christ yeah. and wrapped him yeah. on the marble. This leads to the tenth station tradition, tenth station of the cross, where Jesus was taken off his clothes, he stripped off his clothes. Okay. This is one of the tenth station of the cross. The tenth. Tenth. Where's the little symbol? No, where it's inside? inside. Okay, this is the Holy Sepulchre. This. this is the place. There's the slab. This is the, pla the slab where Jesus Christ was laid on that stone right there. And it was wrapped in linens. And there's oils on it. That's a precious place to me right there. Okay, we go where? Okay. Wow, these steps are steep. Holy cow. So many people have walked on it, it's worn the stone out. Here we are actually on the top of the rock, the Gao Gotha. So this window, which used to be earlier as a doorway, now is closed. That's the tenth station at the cross. The tenth station? Tenth station. Right here. And this is, you know, far far as this is the eleventh station where Jesus nailed to the cross. He was nailed the, to the cross right here. Cross, yeah. You see? Look, yeah. Jesus on the cross. In this spot. Yeah. And that's, you know, the Roman soldier holding the hammer. Look at that. Yes. And that's Mary Magdalene, and his mother, she knelt down, and she's crying. For the moment, Jesus had been crucified. And this is, and this is belonged to the Catholic. This is a chapel, which hold by the Catholic, while the left-hand side, it belongs to the Greek Orthodox. actual rock where Jesus was crucified. Yeah, he was stood up, his cross was put into a hole in the rock, and you can reach down inside there and touch the rock as this man's doing. Knelt to the cross in that location right there. rock Jesus saw before he died. And he was crucified right here. So we have these two holes. 
Yeah. The simple one is where Jesus cross, as you can see there, Jesus yes. cross. Can I Okay, so that was the 12th station where Jesus was crucified. Steve. Excuse me. Steve. What year was this church built? 324 AD by Queen 324 AD. So this church is 1700 years old. But it was destroyed, rebelled, destroyed about several times. Wow. We're going to see the ruins. How do you destroy a church made of stone? They destroyed it, you know, they look it down. They break it down? Yeah. Here, Jesus died on the cross over the rock of Golgotha. You could see there is a skull down below. Because, and when Jesus died on the cross, the body of Jesus was taken from the cross by Nicodemus, mother of Christ, Mary, Mary Magdalene, Joseph of Arimathea. See? This is the area where it used to be here. And they believe that when Jesus died on the cross, the rock was split into two and they found underneath the skull of Adam. Wow. Now, they took the body of Jesus and they replaced the body of Jesus on that rock. Stay tuned. Now, move over here. You'll get a better picture if it's sideways. Yeah. I've seen a lot more tourists. Good. You see where they place the body of Jesus here, where they wrap the body with the coffin. And this is the stone. Go ahead. Ron touching the stone where the body of Jesus was replaced on top of it. My hat touched the spot. Yeah. Wow. Yes. After that, they put the body of Jesus inside the cave, which is the tomb of Jesus. Okay, and we're so going there? Is, yeah, and this is considered at the 13th station of the cross. The 13th station? Of the cross. Of the cross. Okay. I'll title my video, The 14 Stations of Christ. This is the 13. And now we're going to the tomb of Christ. Of course. Let's catch a lane there in order to get inside the tomb before others come. come. Otherwise, we're stuck here the whole day. Oh my God. This place is gigantic, like something out of Tombs of the Lost Ark. Excuse me. That same woman keeps bumping into me. Okay. And this is where Jesus was carried. Inside the tomb of Jesus, later yeah. I will explain to you. So when was this monument built by the Crusaders? Twelfth century. Twelfth century? Yeah. You could see the marble. You could see all the marble during the time of the Crusaders. And recently was renovated by King of Jordan, Abdullah. Really. And this is the place where they put Jesus. That, that's where put Jesus. And he to, rose. It used to be a cave. This was a cave. Yeah. So this is the actual place, the Holy Sepulchre, where Jesus Christ was laid. He was buried in this area in here, in a cave. So the 
the uh, Crusaders built this in 1325. When did they build this room? 324 AD. 324 AD. So 300 years. This part of the rock it used to be a rock of stone. So they used to close the main entrance. That was part of the rock that closed off the main entrance. And the actual, the actual hole or cave is down there where all the people are coming out from. You have to wash your head when you have to bend down a little bit. And that's where they place the body of Christ, inside. Okay, so now we're the only ones going in here. Right. Is this what it was like when they, when they laid him down, they cleaned it up, made it more, this is afterwards. Yeah, yeah, this, is. this is the room, the cave, where Jesus Christ was laid, right here. Yeah. My Lord, I love you. This is the rock inside the cave. They don't give you much time in here, so now I'm leaving. And this is the rock that closed it off. Yeah. The opening right there. Reminds me of something out there, Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's so big. I'll walk around it once. So anywhere Jesus touched or marked or died or laid, they built a church here in Jerusalem. What is this? Just a praise to pray? My Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for all the sins I have committed. Please accept me into your kingdom, Lord, for you are the Son of God. Here where we stand, we look at the Coptic Orthodox here. And this they call it the tomb of Jesus. Since they are the minorities, they have no rights in the other side. It's all political here. Yeah. Wow, amazing. And all this is the rotunda. We call it the rotunda. And this was all built in 1325? No. No. If the first church ever built here, it's 325, 324 AD by Queen Helen. Yeah. When was this church, the and modern this was, one? And this was destroyed by the Persians in 614 AD. Yes. And was rebuilt 628 AD. And was destroyed 1009 AD. Rebuilt by the Crusaders. In 1200. In 1099. 1099. Yeah. So all what you see is... Always it's, torn down. It's all torn down, yeah. 1099. So this, this modern church, this one we see now, has been here how long? Since the Crusaders, 1099, let's say 11th century. So this is 900 years. 900 years. The way it is now. The way we see it. Yeah. This marble. This is a marble. The yes, process. from the Crusaders. Okay. We're going to a secret place, I guess. Okay, what is this room? This is the altar. And this is a church belongs to the Assyrian Orthodox where they have rights to daily, you know, process, daily uh, uh, masses. Only here. They have no rights on the other side. Because they are considered as a small group, you know, as a minority. Where would that cave lead to? Yeah. This cave we call them, you know, Kohim. This used to be, as I told you before, 
this is to be earlier as a quarry. Yes. Where, uh, uh, where the Romans, they used to mine mining the stones in order to build the city. Yeah. Later on, the Jewish, they, you know, converted into a burial caves. And Joseph of Aramathy, one of the Jewish leaders in that time, you know, he made his own tomb by himself, a special tomb, together with his family burial case. So this is Joseph of Arimathea's family burial case. While Jesus took today, which used to be belong to Joseph of Arimathea, which was given as a gift to Jesus after his crucifixion. Now, how is this course? We have niches. So this niches, you know. You can walk in there? Yeah, but you have to bend down. Yes. Otherwise, you know. Okay. Come. Wow. This system from, you know, let's oh, see. That's where people were buried. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's where people, they put the body inside. Yeah. And they seal it with the rocks here. Like, like this is one of them. As here. And this is here. Look at this. Here. The other one. Oh, these are closed still. Yeah. But no, there's, you know, just uh, just to keep it, but there's no. Yeah, um, there's no one in there. No, no one in there. Yeah. Wow, amazing. So, this is original plaster. See? This is original plaster. Dated back to the Byzantine period, and some of them it's dated back to the Crusades. Plaster. Wow. To just to smooth the rocks. Look at this. Yeah. To cover this by a layer of uh, material we call it plaster. So much history here. Yeah. This is the actual rock where Jesus was laid and wrapped in linens before he was placed in his tomb. It's covered in oils right now. With my hat on it, so this hat will be sentimental. But um, it's amazing. You gotta visit Jerusalem. So this is the spot? This is the spot where Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Mother of Christ, they watch Jesus up on the, the cross and crucified on the cross. And up there. Water, up there. So today it's belongs, you know, this is part of the Armenian Orthodox Church. So we have here the Armenians on the left, Catholics on the right, and opposite the top of Jesus belongs to the Greek Orthodox. Everybody has a little stake in this. Yeah, that's the three majority. The minorities are the Coptic, Ethiopians, and Syrian. This is the Church of the Sepulchre. Yeah, Holy Sepulchre. Have the Holy Sepulchre. Holy. Sepulchre. Uh, sorry, uh, Tomb of Jesus. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's massive inside. Okay. So we complete the 14th station of the cross. Okay. So the last station, it's the 14th station of the cross. It's a holy suburb. Now we're heading to uh, Wailing Wailing wall? To the wedding wall. Yes, yeah, of course. Let's go to the wedding wall. Guys, thank you for watching part one of this video. Uh, that was fascinating, and I hope you enjoyed it. In part two, we're going to go see the Wailing Wall, and then we're going to go over to Bethlehem and see the place where Jesus Christ was born. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I love you. I'll see you on part two.